In this session of UC Training, we're going to look at the concept of groups, scenes and channels. When UC has completed the discovery of a lighting router workgroup, it in fact brings in all discovered groups, scenes and channels. If these have been given names in designer, these will be carried across into UC. And if you wish to use these as they are, you can do so. However, it's possible to hide or give alternate names to groups, scenes and channels. I'm currently logged in as administrator and I wish to show you how you can actually perform these configuration tasks on groups, scenes and channels. So let's start by selecting the configuration item from the navigation page. This takes us to a new page where we're offered some options on the left hand side and I'm going to start by selecting groups. The first thing you'll note is that in fact there is a list of already discovered groups and as I previously said these have been brought in from the discovered system. In our case here it's the demo system which actually comes as part of UC. So we're actually not connected to a live system but we're looking at a, a system that's um, all pre-installed on the UC product. Let's look at the top here. Um, here's how we perform searches on groups. So if we don't know the group name we're looking for or there's a very long list we might wish to filter what we're viewing. Let's type in room, press search and see what happens. And immediately you can see that it's filtered the list of groups we had and is only dis displaying those groups with the name room. If I click show all you'll go back to the full list of all available groups. Let's just quickly look at the advanced search facility. If we open advanced search you can now see that depending on um, the selection of these radio buttons and tick boxes, uh, text typed into the search box will have different results. I can change these settings and as a demonstration I'm going to select ends with search text as my search option and I'm going to restrict this to only check search in group router names. So if I type the word meeting into my search box and I hit search, it actually reports there are no matches found. And the reason for that is there is no text in any of the group names which ends with the word meeting. If I now change this to say starts with search text and I select search again I will actually bring up the one group that has the word meeting at the front of its group name. Let's just go back and show you the full list. One very important feature of UC is the ability to apply alternate names but it could well be the case that when programming the lighting router system no name was given Therefore, we won't have the word main corridor, for instance, for group number 111. What we can do with UC is we can supply an alternate name. I'm going to demonstrate this now. So if I go and press the edit button at the end of the row for group number 111, you'll see that I now get the option to enter um, a different string. Now this string can be typed in in any language. So if you happen to be using a French version of Windows and you have a French keyboard, you can type in a French alternate name. We could call this another name. So for instance, let's call this entrance hall. And I just click on the checkbox and now we have an alternate name entrance hall. 
from now on, wherever in the rest of the UC application we have group number 111, which has the router name main corridor, we will in fact see the words entrance hall. So we've now given this a, a, an alternative name which we can easily refer to. If I want to get rid of that, I simply go back into edit mode, click in the box, and I can just easily remove the alternate name. There are some other columns here. I'm going to explore one of these very briefly, and that's the middle column, which is called Mark as Visible. This allows us within the UC program to hide or make visible only certain groups. This is another way of filtering our list down. So if we were to discover a system that had 200 groups, but we were only interested in working with 20 groups, we could tick those 20 groups from any of the 200. And from that point onwards, they would be filtered to the rest of the UC product. So at the moment uh, we have this list of groups. I'm going to keep them all marked as visible and we will come back at a later point uh, to discuss the other columns of monitoring energy. So now let's hop straight into the scene selection. And you'll see immediately that we have a number of scenes which are associated with a particular group. So our scenes are filtered by the selected group. So now if I go into my search criteria here again, I get the box come up just as you saw previously. And I've got this ability to show all which shows me the whole list and there are the groups that you've seen before. Or I can actually filter the groups by using my search criteria. Well, as our list of groups is so short here and we've seen how to do searches, let's not do any more with that. Um, but let's actually pick one of the groups here to work with. So let's pick private office. And you'll notice having clicked on that, I'm offered a select button. So I'm going to press that. And now you'll see that in fact the scenes being offered to us have been filtered by group 444, the private office. Also notice that even within this screen, I can do things like give alternate names. So I can actually call this Fred's Office. Click on that, and now I've given it an alternate name, Fred's Office. Now I'm offered a list of scenes that are available within that group that has been discovered on the router. And you can see here, it's a pretty extensive list. I can restrict these scenes further, the visible scenes, simply by selecting the tick boxes. Or in fact, I can add to them by selecting others further down in the list. For now, we'll just restrict the number of scenes visible and we'll remove the high and medium from the list. I'll just confirm those changes. Okay, so now we can see that having discovered all the available groups on a lighting router work group, we can manipulate those within the UC product by making them invisible or visible to the user. We can then filter the scenes for each of those groups and to make those visible in our scene recall. And in fact, we can go one step further with channel names. So if we now go over to the navigation panel and we select channels, you're going to see a list of addresses of devices that have been discovered on the work group of the lighting router system. You'll also see any names that were given during the commissioning and programming of the system. And yet again, we have the ability to alter or provide an alternate name for any of those channels. So you can see it's quite consistent the way that 
groups, scenes and channels are managed within the UC product and the ability to filter the views are also very consistent in the way that the search is offered to the user. Just as a very quick example here and a reminder, I'm going to only show the items of loads that happen to start with the name Corridor. So let's just search for those. And there we go. So now we're only, we've filtered the view, so we're only showing the uh, channel addresses that happen to have a name assigned to them in the router that starts with the word corridor. That now finishes our session showing you how you can configure the UC product to give groups, scenes and channels alternate names and how you can make them visible or hide them within the UC product. This is very important as you'll see later on from a user's perspective it allows us to streamline the pages being displayed. Thank you very much for watching. That concludes this training session on UC.